be worth something. Well, this is junk. You heard Celia. No, it's worth something. Maybe even a thousand. Well, then give it to the cop. <laughs> you heard the Mountie. The, the guy's trying to kill me. Yeah, since when has a pig ever been straight with us? <sighs> Don't we have enough saved up already? Can't we just jet? No, we need more. We always need more. Look, we're going, okay? Don't I always do what I say? You want to go back to the foster home? I'm taking care of you. Andy? Andy! Meet me back at Celia's, you hear me? Listen, Buster, if you eat all your carrots, I've got sugar cubes for dessert for you. It's a very good choice. Plenty of carotene. What's that? It's a red or yellow crystalline pigment found in carrots, among other things. The body converts it into vitamin A. It's the orange stuff. <laughs> Have you ever ridden in one of these things? Sid says it's a waste of money. Sid's not paying. Excuse me. May I? I've, uh, I've had some experience. Go ahead, but she only moves for me. Really? There. Come on up. Diefenbaker? It's a wolf, huh? Uh, yes, his name is Diefenbaker. Looks pretty sick. Oh, it's just a plea for sympathy, I assure you. So it's just you and your brother, then? No, we've got family. They've got a big ranch with lots of horses. Um, we're just, you know, hanging out, making a few bucks until we can hook up with them again. You ever been to Wyoming? As a matter of fact, I have. I arrested a man in Wyoming. Well, then you know where we're going. I'm gonna have my own horse when I'm there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ride it every day. <laughs> That's why Sid's got us working so hard. He's just trying to get us there. Well, I imagine you'll be leaving quite soon. Yeah. Pretty soon, I guess. When, a week, a month? Uh, I don't know. It was a big trip. You must have been planning it for a long time. You must talk about it a lot. Yeah, we talk about it. Well, I, I talk about it. How long? What? How long have you been planning the trip? A few months, maybe. More like a year, actually. Ah. Uh. Look, we're going, okay? Sid always does what he says, always. Just that we gotta go together, like we promised. Okay. Here. You wanna try this? Just hold it nice and loose. That's it. Personally, I prefer Myrtle Beach to Martha's Vineyards. You? Tell me, is that glass from the Gap? So, what do you want? Excuse me? Well, Sid says that people only do stuff for you when they want something, so what is it? Well, you know, the world's a big place. Sid's only seen a little part of it. Do you think that guy's gonna come after me again? I think that's very likely. He kept saying something about a book or something. Is that what you stole from him? He didn't say anything about stealing anything. No, that's right, you didn't. Want to go around again? Well, it's kind of raining. Oh, yeah. I'll help you down. The killer has a very specific tattoo on the side of his neck. She says she pickpocketed something from him the night of the murder. Yes, sir. Uh, she says she took some kind of device. I think they call it an electronic organizer. The book. 
Sonny's address book. Perhaps. There's something more, Ray. She said he tried to use a wire on her. I think it was a garroting wire. Well, I guess it was killed the same way. It was a, a small tattoo, the Stars and Stripes, located approximately four centimeters below the left ear. I remember it quite distinctly. And judging from the sharpness of the color, our man either avoided the sun or the tattoo was relatively new. Now, if we can just match up the style of the tattoo to the artisan. Frazier, a tattoo is a tattoo. It doesn't take a Michelangelo to do the old glory on somebody's well, neck. On the contrary, Ray, a tattoo is a very individual thing. You don't hand it over to just anybody. You have to have faith in the, in the vision and the integrity of the artist. The artist? Yes. You call this art? Well, very much so. And you know something? It's exactly that kind of assumption that has contributed to the commercialization of this ancient form in recent years. Excuse me. Uh, these subtle shadings, are they Zulu-influenced or Tanganyikan? Boyd! Ah. You don't get a lot of it in this business, that's why I remember it. Nuance. The man favoured subtlety. At first I thought he was just another chrome magnum knockoff. Adam figured for the dancing statue of liberty, the flag at Iwo Jima, John Bon Jovi. Are you sure you only want red and white? Yeah, oh, yes, just red and white, thank you. Then he did something unexpected. It was like he ordered a bottle of 1970 Chateau Margaux with his burrito. You mean the American flag on the back of his neck? Yeah, postage stamp size. You have to appreciate it. Mm. Are you sure I've got a very nice uh, metallic puce? No, no, uh, red and white will be sufficient, thank you. And I believe you will find that the, the maple leaf actually has three points, unlike the oak, which you have, you have rendered quite, uh, quite accurately here. Problem? No, carry on. You know where we might be able to find this guy with all the nuance? Uh, no, just paid cash, then he left. Did he talk about his work? Mention a favorite restaurant or anything? Not the talkative type. He gave me this, though. As if I don't have enough of them. Johnstone. Senator Johnstone. Come on, let's go. Ah, well, perhaps next time. <clears throat> Well, that's very nice. Is that the Tanganyikan influence? 